Hi everyone, welcome to the Chamber Spotlight. I'm Lori Hansroth, Executive Director of the Berkeley Springs Morgan County Chamber of Commerce. Today we're welcoming Chamber Member Danny Davison, owner of Hunter's Hardware, to the studio. Thanks for coming in today, Danny. You're welcome. Hunter's Hardware has been a fixture in Berkeley Springs for many years. It's located at the corner of Washington and Independence Street. And just to give our viewers a little bit of history, Hunter's Hardware was founded back in 1886 by Romanus Hunter and was originally located across the street and that mm -hmm. building is still standing today. Uh, Mr. Hunter moved the business to the current location when it was built in 1928 and some of the original fixtures are still being used today like the counter and the wonderful cubby hole shelves that are mm -hmm. behind the counter. That's one of my favorite bins, things to yes. see, the nail bins. Mm -hmm. It's awesome to see all those original fixtures still being used. Um, now, I know you weren't associated with Hunter's Hardware clear back then, but tell us about your history with Hunter's Hardware. My history I started when I was in a junior in high school, and my brother come to me, because he worked at the store then, and he came to me one evening, he said, hey, you being arrested and working in Hunter's? And I said, uh, well, yeah. He said, well, stop in and talk to Jay. So I did. I stopped in that evening, and he said, well, you interested in working? I said, well, yeah. He said, uh, when can you start? I said, whenever you want me. He said, how about this Saturday? I said, okay. So that was my junior year, and then after I went through school and graduated in 79, I went full time. Of course, I worked in, up to that point. You know, any time I could get after school, summertime, every Saturday. And after I did that, then I graduated and went full time, and I spent, um, well, actually 38 years there. And, um, in those 38 years, uh, accommodated me and my partner. We bought the business in 2000 and uh, ran it for, this is 16 years now on our own. And um, I think we're doing very well with it. That's great. That's great. And you're raising a family here in Berkeley Springs. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Got two, um, two kids. I got a stepson. That's, um, I guess he's 34. And I got twins, boy and a girl. They're 14. That's great. That's great. Well, you have a lifetime of experience in the hardware business, starting out in high school and then mm -hmm. working with, you said 38 years? 38 years. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to tell you, I am a self-proclaimed do-it-yourselfer. And anytime I've been into Hunter's Hardware, there are always people ready to help. They are at the counter asking me what I need, and that's super helpful for me because usually I'm clueless about what I need. Uh, so how many employees do you have right now? Uh, right now, I think there's eight. Eight yeah. and have most of them been there for some, quite some time. Most of them, yes, yes. I don't have much turnover at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, most of them's been there since I've been there. I mean, we've lost a couple of them due to retirement. Mm -hmm. um, the oldest gentleman, which I work with him there, he uh, started when he was 16, and he actually retired when he was 86. Wow. He had 70 years there. 70 years at Hunters. And then also Betty Hutchison was a secretary, and she actually uh, retired on a day which made 50 years for her. And then Bob Reynolds worked in the uh, back room. He, he was just the odd man. He'd done screening, mm -hmm. uh, glass repair, motor repair for motors and stuff. And he actually spent 60, 62 years there. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. But I don't think I'll hit that number. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the many services that Hunters offers that we've used over the years has been um, the referral list of professional services, the plumbers, the electricians, the contractors, which um, it's great for people who don't want to tackle jobs on their own, or maybe they've started to tackle a job and then realize they're in over their head and they right. need someone to call, which is usually me more than not. Um, but I'm going to put you on the spot today. Okay. Uh, many people assume that because Hunter's Hardware is his local hometown store, they might not have the parts and materials necessary for most home repairs. So they think they have to drive 25 miles or more to a big box chain store. And so what I'm going to propose uh, is a list of some of the most common emergency home repairs that people generally tackle on their own. And you tell me if you have what you need in store. Sound okay. good? Sounds good. All right. Let's start with plumbing because that always seems to be a problem. How about a leaky faucet? We can take care of that, okay. either with a new one or repair parts. All right. Toilet won't stop running. Uh, nor miss a flapper. Okay. Or the control valve, and we've got both. So you could either replace the individual parts, or you have the entire kit for the inside yeah. of the tank. Or we could sell them a whole toilet. You can sell them a whole mm -hmm. toilet if they need it. Perfect. All right, so I wake up in the morning, and there's no hot water. What's it going to be? 
Probably either a breaker or um, probably an element in a hot water heater. And you have those in mm -hmm. stock. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about a thermostat if it turns out? Got them too. Perfect. And you've got a plumber on call. I can get it I, replaced. Well, all they got to do is we used to have one in, in house, but we don't have one. On, but we have a list. People call us in. Mm -hmm. We refer them to plumbers or electricians or contractor. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, this winter we had a lot of broken pipes. I know you guys carry a wide selection of pipes, mm -hmm. fittings, everything that they would need to actually replace a broken Anything pipe. Anything at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about uh, window glass? Oh yeah. You've we got... do um, window repair, uh, or screening repair, and we cut glass. Perfect. And you even have plexiglass for people yes. that might be concerned for mm -hmm. kids and lower windows. So what about replacing a light switch? Uh, we got the switch. Um, if you need an electrician, we've got numbers where we can give out to local contractors. Perfect. Um, if, if I want to do replacing a hole in the drywall or even plaster in an older home, mm -hmm. would you have we everything? Got drywall tape and plaster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drywall compound. Um, and the tools to use it with. There we go. <laughs> All right. So what if I decide I'm going to work outside and I want to lay a small concrete pad? Uh, we've got the concrete. Um, uh, we got the tools to dig the footer if you want to dig the footer, or we got uh, numbers for a contractor to do that for you. Okay, and you even have the wood, I'm assuming, that's a deformed. Um, we somewhere? don't have a whole selection of wood. We do have what I call my lumber yard. It's not very big, mm -hmm. um, but we have something to take care of that. Got the half basics. sheets of plywood or something like that. Yes. Perfect. And you carry a good selection of paints and stains. Yes, um, your most brands of your stains, which is normally Minwax. Um, your paints, we have a local paint, which is McCormick, which is right out of uh, Frederick. It was their main base, and it's a family-owned, mm -hmm. and that's what I like to steer to, you know, the family-owned businesses. Mm -hmm. That's what actually built this country. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. You're right. And in addition to all the paints and stains, you've got the brushes, the rollers, yes. the drop cloths, mm -hmm. the buckets, all the, paints the trays. Those. Perfect. I've got my projects planned. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my favorite departments is your gardening department. I usually head in there every spring for seeds, soil amendments, fertilizers, um, pest control, but you guys carry a good selection of garden equipment and tools. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, hose. Hose, um, rakes, um, we got the garden seeders, uh, hand plows, which not too many people likes to push hand plow anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it still works, mm -hmm. just good as the rest of them. Right. And if someone doesn't necessarily want to buy a whole new tool, you even have the handles that you can right. do replacement handles. We actually handles replace for those too in the shop. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. That's mm -hmm. great. And then do you have someone there that does mower repair as well? Uh, we used to. That was Bob Reynolds, which mm -hmm. retired, and I just really never got back into it. Mm -hmm. um, but you have the parts if someone else wants yes, to do it themselves. Yes, we got the repair parts. And we've got people that actually repair mowers and stuff. That's and cool. we send, you know, send them the phone number to them. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and of course, after gardening, you've got a harvest. You've got everything you would need for food preservation. I've looked at the pressure cookers and canners, Cans, jerky can supplies. Mm -hmm. um, you even carry a selection of guns, knives, and ammunition. Yes. Uh -huh. And I'm mm -hmm. sure that's one of your more popular departments. Yeah, it's been pretty popular here lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah our president, he's actually the um, top salesman for guns and ammo for the last three years. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Well, you know, the wide variety of inventory carried by hunters is, is impressive. I mean, every time I go in, I find something new that I didn't realize you carried. But I think there's still that misconception out there that because you're a small local hardware store, your prices aren't competitive with the big chains. What would you tell people about that? We're just competitive with the big boxes. I mean, there's a few items just like the big boxes do. They lowball some stuff, you know, just to drag in a door. And um, I think we're pretty competitive. You know, if you count your time going down, I mean, I don't know how much people value their time, but mm -hmm. I value my time a good bit, you know, because there's always something to do. But uh, instead of traveling, you know, I mean, we're not way out of line at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just need to stop in and, you know, check the prices, because I know that for a fact that we're a lot cheaper than the big box on a lot of items. That's great. A lot of items, yeah. That's great. And then um, my philosophy is on that is to tr or take care of the um, small businesses owned by family. Thank you. I want to thank you again for coming in to sure. join us today. Hunter's Hardware has been a longtime supporter of local schools and organizations. I know that you guys give out a lot of donations every year to make sure our folks have what they need. We invite our viewers to stop by Hunter's Hardware. Uh, they're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturdays, 8 to 3. Today's video is going to be posted at berkeleyspringscommunitymatters.com, so make sure you check that out. And I want to thank you again. 
for sure. coming in. I'm Lori Hansroth with the Berkeley Springs Morgan County Chamber of Commerce, and we remind you to shop local and support Morgan County businesses and Morgan County families. Thank you.